Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 188. It is Tuesday. Gorgeous again here in Cincinnati. I know you must just be craving the ability to jump right here into this incredible weather that we're experiencing. It is absolutely beautiful. Everything is green out my window. The sky is bright blue. Not one single cloud that I can see. The birds are chirping. (laughs) The sun is shining. I think it's going into the mid 70s. It is the spring here is just magical. So, yeah, I am pondering this idea of time quite a bit this week, and so I thought we would play with that a little bit more today. Perhaps some of this has been activated or brought forward or stirred up by the Avengers movie Endgame. My son and my daughter introduced me to this movie the series of movies. I have not seen all of them. I have seen a few and we went to see Infinity Wars and it blew me apart when I watched it because quite a a lot of what I have seen or experienced in my meditation time, there are some similarities to what has been shown in the visual, the movie making of Infinity Wars, just about humanity and how we, how we are evolving or, um, as a species and how we are connected to other planets outside of our own. And so to see some of that up on the big screen in front of my eyes was uh, validating and also intense. (laughs) So when they told me Endgame was going to be coming out in a few months, I thought, I don't know. I don't know if I can handle more. Like Infinity Wars was already so powerful. And so we went to see it on Saturday night and it was absolutely amazing. One of the best movies ever and that's being reflected by obviously how it's doing at the box office what has been so much fun for me is to feel energetically how so many people focusing on this movie that plays with the idea of time and earth's role in the universe and humanity's role on earth as all of those themes are played within this movie and it's Uh, claiming itself as an ending to a series, there is a rippling out that comes from something that so many people are focusing on. The, The attention on it, the discussions about it are all energy and energy that's expanding because so much conversation and and time is being spent in that container that is called Endgame. And so there's a lot bubbling around this idea of time. And when I was sitting here this morning meditating, the word I kept getting was timelines. And I feel like timelines is a topic that we could have dissertations about <laughs> or you know, college level classes, maybe a degree. You could probably get a degree in timelines. There's that much to study and research and so many different philosophical viewpoints. So I'm not going to cover timelines in their completion (laughs) here in this 15 minute podcast. What I'm going to present is an idea of playing with timelines, specifically shifting timelines. And I thought a great visual or example of how I see this being played is through the movie Speed. So for those who have, because I don't want to spoil the movie Endgame, if you haven't seen it yet, I, I have no right <laughs> to tell you how that movie unfolds and what happens because the adventure of it is in experiencing it fully for yourself, which is exactly how life is in timelines. Anyway, who wants to have the ending ruined? For Speed, if you have not seen the movie Speed, 
um, you shouldn't listen to this because I'm going to tell you <laughs> how the movie Speed unfolds. <laughs> and it's an old movie, so I'm assuming many people have already watched it. In that movie, if you remember, there's a bus that is hijacked and someone puts a bomb on the bus. And the bus driver needs to keep the pace of 50 miles an hour, or as soon as it goes underneath that speed, the bomb and all the people on it will blow up. And so what happens in the movie is all these super people, you know, uh, people who are going to save the bus, <laughs> literally, are taking turns figuring out how to keep the speed at 50 miles an hour and how to get people on board to help and how to avoid the things that they would hit. Because if they go through an intersection at 50 miles an hour with a bomb on board, anybody that they hit as they're going through that intersection will also blow up and blow them up. So it's about sort of clearing the path ahead and then um, navigating, maintaining that speed the whole time. And so that's what the movie is about, and you'll have to watch it again because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how it ends <laughs> in detail. I remember generally, but not in detail. But when I was tuning into this idea of shifting timelines, perhaps the best way to see time in somehow the way I see it, when, if that bus had had its normal routine that day and it had picked up the people at each stop, stopped, dropped off people, picked up people, gone to the next stop, dropped off people, picked up people, and just moved about its regular route, all of those people would have gotten on and off the bus, had their experience on the bus, and then moved back into their world and experienced their world as it typically would unfold for that day. When they stepped onto the bus and then the bomb was activated and the speed was set and everyone on the bus had to stay in that container and the bus had to move at the speed of 50 miles an hour, the entire timeline shifted for the people on the bus and for the people who would have been getting off or would have been getting on. Some people stepped into that container of the bus and were on the adventure for the whole ride. Others, the bus zoomed right by them when they should have been getting on board or should have been getting off. I use should with laughter <laughs> because really there is no should. <laughs> There's just what you're actually experiencing. So if you picture this bus, it steps into a new timeline. It shifts timelines because some... Uh, parameter has shifted. Some um, structure of that typical experience is now different. And so everyone that's in that timeline of that experience is going to be carried with the momentum of where that timeline is now going. The moment the bus, the bomb is deactivated, then the bus comes to a stop, the reality, the timeline shifts again. If the bus, if the bus blows up, the timeline has now come to an end, but it's created another timeline. All the people who were on the bus that would have normally gotten off, the reality of their families has now shifted. So why bring all this up? Well, to me, I feel like when lots of people are focusing on time in the way that two point one or two or however many numbers we're up to now, billion dollars worth of energy can focus attention on time. <laughs> Whatever Avengers has made in this final movie, really if you look at the entire series, what Avengers has made, focusing on time, timelines, shifting timelines, realities, all of that attention amplifies how the feeling or the vibration of time is being held within the collective consciousness of our planet. So, for example, if, if everyone on our planet was meditating at a certain moment and we were all focusing our attention on our hearts and just loving, 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 loving and every single person at the exact same time and then two billion dollars worth of money was put behind that, you can feel the intensity that would be experienced in our heart chakra. And that intensity in our heart may just pop open a new level of love that hadn't been possible before because so many people with such intense money and time and focus was concentrated on the heart chakra and love. Time is this ethereal, unknown, unseen 
thing, <laughs> concept, that we try to make sense of. And so when we put this much resource and energy and focus on this topic of time, it can start to shift our experience of time. It can start to, as I discussed yesterday, warp time a little bit. It bends it, it moves it, like a record player bends or moves when the record is not straight. And so the music is different, the energy coming out of that record is different. With all these people across the world talking about time from this different idea that the way that Endgame has presented it, of course there is going to be some shift in timelines. People have a different awareness, a different understanding of how time might work, of how we might be playing with time. And so this old uh, linear idea of you have one day and it starts at midnight and it goes until the next 11.59 and then we bridge to a new day at the next midnight and so everything is in this very familiar flow and an hour feels like an hour and a minute feels like a minute. When we are in this shift of timelines presented or held by the container of endgame, time may start to feel very different to us. It may feel like we're on a bus that's going 50 miles an hour and we can't step off and there's no room for anyone else to step on and we've just got to keep going and what's going to happen at the end of the bus ride? <laughs> it may feel like that. Or it may feel like your awareness has you going, I am no longer wanting to play in that space. I'm ready to step off the bus and slow my life down. I don't want to feel that sense of anxiety and panic and overwhelm and rushing deadlines that I can never meet. I'm stepping off the bus. I'm going to sit on the side and wave at all the people who are flying by in their buses going 50 miles an hour. <laughs> we, we make different choices when the collective consciousness is going through a shift like it is right now. We become aware that there are options that perhaps we didn't know were available before. Like maybe we didn't know that you can give yourself permission to get off the bus. Maybe we've never allowed ourselves to consider that there are other ways of living, that there are other ways of making money, that there are other ways of being in relationship. When when we are present, let me rephrase that, it's easy to get caught up in the momentum of something powerful. So, for example, you know, the idea of the movie Speed, everyone gets caught up in the intensity of we have to save the people before the bus explodes. And so the ones on the bus are fighting for their lives. The ones outside trying to clear the pathway ahead of this bus with a bomb on it are, that's all they can focus on is clearing the way. And, and so that reality timeline of that bus speeding along, it gathers momentum, momentum of all the people who are caught up in the energy of saving that speeding bus and preventing a bigger disaster. But if you imagine being one of those people who showed up for the bus stop to get on the bus and you don't know there's a bomb on it and the bus goes speeding by and you just think it's missed your stop so there's no other buses, you're just going to turn around. You're going to walk back home and go take a nap and then maybe make dinner and then maybe go for a walk outside. You may not even watch the news to know that there's a bus that blew up or that was saved. <laughs> it's, it's not your reality anymore. It's not your timeline anymore. Because you chose to just step away from that shift in the timeline and create your own new timeline. I guess that's what I'm... Not I guess. I feel like that is what I am playing with right now is as time is shifting, as our understanding or definition of time and how we engage with time is being offered exploration, is being offered room to, to look at it in different ways. 
our choices are going to determine where these shifting timelines take us. So if our focus is always on going as fast as we can, getting as much done as we can, and hitting some um, deadline that we have created for ourselves or some end goal, or buying into the feeling of catastrophe approaching, we're going to get caught up in the momentum of that and that is going to become more and more what we feel and experience. And our bodies will feel the result of that, that pressure and adrenaline and fight or flight or um, anxiety, intense anxiety, it's going to eventually make us very, very sick. And that is one timeline many people can step can stay in, can step into, can become tuned to. And I also believe there's this possibility of shifting timelines, shifting our focus, our choice of how we experience life, of how we experience our time. And that doesn't mean we step out and away from the world and we go into isolation. It means we choose in ourselves to show up very present, very steady, very calm, knowing we have the choice in each moment of how we experience our timeline. And we can get caught up in the momentum and the the fear and the anxiety, or we can simply continue breathing and expanding space, expanding time. There's a great way that they show this in the Infinity Wars and Endgame series. The Doctor Strange movie showed it. So he has this, he's a timekeeper and he moves his hands in a circular direction, rubbing them together. And then he creates, as he spreads his hand apart, this orange spinning portal of fire or light. And as he expands the space between his hands and expands this orange spinning space, <laughs> It becomes a portal of time that people can step through. And when they step through that, they're in a different reality. They just shift timelines. We have that ability, each of us, within ourselves. We can simply become very present and calm our systems down, calm our bodies down, bring our minds into alignment, tune into what our souls want us to be experiencing, and then just expand space and time right in the moment that we exist in and we feel calm in our bodies and then that calm is the portal the shift the change that we bring into our relationships our circumstances our days our conversations we come in calm and steady knowing all is exactly as we've chosen it to be And that becomes a portal of vibration other people can feel. And then they can shift timelines. They can step out of the insane feeling, the anxiety, and be fully present with the peace that we hold and that they begin to hold. It's like deactivating the bomb on the bus by simply sitting on the bus, tuning into the bomb feeling where it is and then in our minds telepathically going I choose to to cool down the vibration of the bomb or turn off the timer on the bomb just by simply sitting here I make that activation I shift the timeline and then suddenly the bus doesn't have to speed 50 miles an hour anymore we can change the reality the timeline of all of those around us on the bus simply by showing up in this new way this present still calm way and maybe as you're hearing this you're like I kind of like the feeling of a bus going 50 miles an hour maybe I'll make it a sports car and I'll go off by myself that's great nobody is determining your timeline for you I am presenting what I feel is happening collectively in an energetic way across our planet and and things are going to shift timelines will be shifting and we will choose we will experience those shifts through our choices and so our own timelines will will be different maybe the same but for many of us I believe they will be different and so who knows what we co-create can you imagine just like I said if we had everyone on the planet tuning in to their heart chakra and allowing love to just pop open and 
explode in a new way, what that would mean for our globe, for humanity. What if it was the same with just being still? Can you imagine if every single person on our planet at one moment sat their butts down on the grass and just breathed, closed their eyes and listened to the trees and the birds, felt their breath in their body? Every single, every single soul in a human body at the same moment, the entire world would shift. Is that possible? Of course it's possible. Will we do that? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But it's fun to play with. It's fun to see what can I do to impact that. And so what I can do is be fully present in my body, in my moment, and breathe more calmly, and play with this idea of time from a very empowered space. And then share it with you. <laughs> and then allow you to have whatever your experience is with it the beauty of creation it's the beauty of the creation of endgame and infinity wars and the avengers like what they have sent out into humanity is so incredibly powerful and beautiful so yeah who knows all i know is what i choose so that's what i focus on Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in aligning with the optimal health of your mind, body, spirit in the virtual community of Viv's Energy Gym. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.